Let's play football profession. Must be sportsman. Yeah. Right D for a kayaking unless you're an experienced kayak company. Uh, There's a little bit of the tail section. Uh, the concourse. We'll see it better when we come down the Hudson River. Because God willing, we're going to be right underneath that bridge in about two hours and 15 minutes. George Washington Bridge, GWB. Yankee Albert Man Highwood for the New Jersey. George Washington. As the gentleman pointed out, we also have a Mercury capsule right over here on the, on the south side of the Intrepid. All kinds of things related to our space programs. A lot of interactive things have been added in recent years. We've got those kids, you want to get them tired, take them over there after the trip. Right, right, right. Now, the Great White Pier is Pier 88, normally used by Norwegian cruise line vessels, but we had the Queen Mary 2 over there about 10 days ago. Was back to Southampton. This time of year, most of our vessels go to Bermuda. Now, you can see the Time Warner Center, those dark towers, both of them. I noticed the building with the diamond walls. That's one of those lead buildings for that white tent. Below, our retail operations have all kinds of deals for it. There's a heliport on your left. It's kind of quiet at the moment. It's used by uh, businessmen and women. But sometimes it's used by whales. That's the nickname for big time gamblers going down to Atlantic City, New Jersey, which is only about. Do some gambling, see a show. Here's where you can leave it from. Leave it from, excuse me. Now, over the sailboats are two gold top buildings. We've got a backlit, but one with a gold cup is mental house life insurance. There are elevators for your car. Park your car in an elevator, and you take it right up to your living room, so you don't have to worry about parking on that alley. It gets to a certain extent, you don't have to worry about paparazzi. And that might be why Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban bought an apartment in 211th Avenue on your left. Now, it might have some art lovers on board. The weather gets a little more humid. You may not want to be outside, like on a great day like today. You might want to do some art. Viewing. And here's a great neighborhood for it. It's called Chelsea, 27th Street to 20th Street, between 10th and 11th Avenue. It's a tremendous concentration of art galleries. Kind of hand art, expensive art. You name it art wise, you can find it in this neighborhood. We're in shape. They got plenty of things to help you get back out of shape. I cook road, a couple of restaurants, catering all. I'm going to come down here later. West 23rd Street is the entrance. Look to the Empire State Building, look to its left. You can see just the top of the crest of the building. It's the only spot on this trip. You can see those two skyscrapers together, two years apart in East French architect. The Silver Building, designed by Frank Geary, famous American architect, which is by the most famous two we ever had in American history, July 11, 1804. But here on your right, this is called Hoboken, New Jersey. Frank Sinatra was brought up here, a famous singer, both blue eyes. That's called Stevens Tech. Of the Titanic was headed back in 1912. Never made it, as most of you know. It's right at the edge of this neighborhood called the Meatpacking District. Very trendy neighborhood. A building with a light green windows, for example, the big one. That is the standard hotel. Small. Sometimes Rachel Ray used it the first of all that building. The location for for a for show. Uh, food network here in America. Now here's the West Village. Pretty pricey neighborhood all the way around this uh, neighborhood, a relatively small neighborhood. For example, look at the water's edge. It's a brown building, dark brown on the sides, kind of gray windows. Look at the top of the building. It's all glass. That's a wraparound view penthouse over your left shoulder. And Mark Schiller worked from South Africa, the entrepreneur. He actually spent his own money to go up in space a while ago. He just bought that penthouse last fall for $31.5 million. NASCAR fans, Jimmy Johnson has an apartment there. I understand his wife does a lot of modeling out here in the mix. And Spring seems to play on a regular basis, for example. Look on your left, there's a building kind of backlit. It's got black windows, gray siding right here at the water's edge. Daniel Radcliffe owns a kind of many of them. Most of you know he's on Broadway and not a succeeded business model. He's trying it on Monday. He was at Lincoln Center premiering the last Harry Potter film. Well, in front of that building is a Red Hell Boutique. If you're going by Grove Street now, one of those side streets, that's where Heath Ledger had his part. But right now we're crossing a tunnel. Look on either side of the boat. You see these kind of sandy colored items. These are the vents. The vents for the Holland Tunnel named after Clifford Hollow. He's the guy who engineered the tunnel. It's the first tunnel built underneath water from German Russian vehicles. So it's definitely a landmark. 
about 18 million vehicles we use this tell on average here. Now it leads on the Manhattan side onto Canal Street. It's close out New York's cross in the neighborhood. You might want to try the Tribeca Grill on Greenwich Street. 375 Greenwich. Least expensive. I would dive still chain in America. 56 stories high, right on Broadway. All the club, the cathedral of Paris. And right behind is a Frank Erie designed apartment tower, which we'll be talking about when we get over to the opposite side of the island. But here in the foreground, blocking the Woolworth building is a new tower. It's about a year and a half old. Silver tower with a curved facade. And it is Goldman Sachs' new world headquarters. I'm sure a lot of you know about that financial firm. That building plus home top towers. Our twin towers sit on the opposite side of this complex. 110 stories high. That's twice as tall as any building you can see right now. Except for one. One with the cranes on top of it. Now that's one World Trade Center. That's made some go up 1,776 feet once completed in two years. It's a symbolic night for us Americans. Right now they have about 85 stories completed of the working part of the building. 20 more stories to go on that. And more cladding, radio tower, and the grounds are here. But now look between the taller towers on your left. You're going to see a black atrium with a curved top. Public space you can visit later today. Look over the atrium. You can see a black tower 52 stories up. It's a Millennium Hilton Hotel on Church Street. Well, on September 10, 2001, we would go by here. We could look at the atrium, see the Twin Towers looking like an 11, 110 stories high. And just for a second, the Twin Towers would frame this black tower almost perfectly. Just as tall as the black tower, like an 11. Well, the atrium would have a shoot just about now. Those in the very front of this vessel certainly must never, never, never forget the nearly 3,000 innocent people from over 24 different countries who were murdered on the side of Manhattan. Summer. 
about two weeks ago, they were right up here about the Brooklyn Bridge and some night scenes, for example. But here on the left is we can look at that out of ferry boats with the crane and the blue and green glass. The last container ship of operation in New York City, and then off the bow is Brooklyn Heights. 2.8 million people reside in Brooklyn. Maybe after a Dutch town with the same name, different spelling. Watch or look at Lower Manhattan from Brooklyn Heights over by the Sussman Island. Great place to go at sunset, for example. 1137 Port Authority police officers died on 9 11. Notice those red doors underneath FDR Drive. That is engine 4, ladder 15. That firehouse alone lost that very grim. Tuesday now, almost exactly 10 years ago. 16 of them were off duty. They stayed home. Well, we're coming out to Wall Street, actually. This pier where you see the C Street boat, it's called Pier 11, that's used by commuters going to and from Wall Street by boat. So the next street upriver is Wall Street. Between the Black Widow building and that older concrete building will be Wall Street. Even after the wooden wall, the Dutch built across out in 1653 to protect the little colony of New Amsterdam, which was inland on the left. It worked for a while. Then in 1663, the British invaded, came by boat, took it out of the little colony. Only 1,100 people were there. They took it over without firing a shot. One out of four buildings in the colony were towers. That could be a wonder, and they took it over without firing a shot. King Charles II of England gave the colony to his brother. In South Broadway, it's called the Trinity Church. It's Episcopal in 1846. And then right before the church, on the left side of the street, behind a big American flag, in the corner of the stock exchange, just a little sliver of concrete at Broad Street. So here comes the uh, stock exchange and the church for those in the front of the boat. It's slightly behind us, down by behind, behind those flags. There's the church, half in silhouette, and there's the corner of the stock exchange. Silver Calgary. Now the stock exchange is closed to the public, but a block away is the Museum of American Finance. Where they do have a live feed from the stock exchange. I guess if you're really hurry, you can make it today. Remember the stock exchange closes at four. We'll try it tomorrow. Now here's the South Street Seaport area. Tall ships, which you can take a look at. Unfortunately, you can't visit them anymore. There have been budget cuts here at the Seaport Museum. The Peking, the four-masted bark built in uh, Hamburg, Germany. The Germans used that to create nitrates between South America and Europe. Nitrates used for fertilizer. The Red Hound vessel, the Ambrose, the floating lighthouse, used to be outside the entrance to New York Harbor. Help the ship's captains get through those difficult waters. Now here's one boat you can go on, the blue one. It's called the City Clipper. You might have one even take a ride on it tonight around sunset. City Clipper, look it up on the internet. Shopping and dining down here, but there's a Frank Geary designed apartment tower on your left. That silver building, 76 stories up. In fact, they marked that building as the tallest residential tower in this hemisphere. They just opened the rental offices for the building about two months ago. The least expensive apartment, it would be a studio, lowest floors, no view, and they start at $2,700 a month. Mr. Geary apparently has a penthouse at the top of that interesting building with that silver cladding that he's famous for. You can also see the gold statue on our left of our municipal building, very close to City Hall. And then back on the right is the Watchtower building, headquarters of the Jehovah's Witnesses. The Watchtower, as many of you know, is their publication. And then we got the Broken Bridge close up, but also note on your right this barge with the green and white awning. That's the famous River Cafe. Excellent food, very, very expensive. Copy book for the weekend already for brunch, which you might want to try lunch at the River Cafe uh, tomorrow. And you can walk across this bridge and bike across this bridge and get a terrific view of our city on a day like today. A little bit more than a mile from end to end. Take the AMC trains and get off at the High Street stop on the Brooklyn side. Manhattan Bridge on the left side of this bridge would take you down to 
Chinatown, Canal Street, largest Chinatown in North America. You see that reddish tower, for example, that's called Confucius Plaza, the heart of Chinatown. Chinatown known for handbags, jewelry, watches, scarves, at least that's what I've heard. And the right side of the bridge is this interesting growth of the neighborhood called Dumbo. The light industry moved out 25, 30 years ago and an artist moved in and started living loft style. Working in the of these buildings. And they coined that name Dumbo, down under Manhattan Bridge overpass. Recent years, it's gotten very gentrified. There's a guy we're passing. If you're on this turn, you can still see it. The guy with the four clock faces back there. That was a commercial building, but that is actually an apartment with transparent clock faces behind us, 14 feet in diameter. Well, that's a triplex apartment now on the market for $24 million. So a lot of the artists have been pushed out by gentrification, but there is still some art here. Let's go the first one next. Like, you can't see it. A couple miles away, a mile and a half away is Little Italy. That could be worth a visit for you. Those old tenement buildings that are so evocative of that time period here in Manhattan, the 1890s. Right here on the left side. Now back in Missouri, all built over here. The last vessel they built here was the USS Constellation. That was back in the 1950s. So now some of the rear scenes for Men in Black 3, MIB 3, and what they call cover sets. Josh Brolin has been added to the cast of MIB3. He's going to portray the younger version of some of the scenes the adjustment barrel given his crew. And you Americans with HBO? HBO uses those facilities over there for a lot of the original programming. In fact, some parts of Mildred Pierce were filmed over there. I'm sure some of you saw that miniseries earlier this season with Kate Winslet. Big cement pile. In fact, if you keep looking over the cement pile, as we Yeah. 
Manhattan. This is kind of ironic that on your right you have an island called Welfare Island. And you look for a place to have your Halloween party in October. Here it comes. An old smallpox hospital. You can only see more tissue walking through there. Anna's family is on Broadway and is often available at TKTS at half price. That was designed by James Renwick. He's the same man who designed St. Patrick's Cathedral. That's where Greta Garbo spent her last year, so I want to be alone. And the next guy with the bell on top of it is called the River House. That's where Henry Kissinger resides, followed around by all the security guards. The first luxury apartment tower built here on the East River. Now note this green traffic sign we're approaching. We'll look right down the street as we go by the River House, and you're going to see a reddish building with curved sides, which we call the Lipstick Building. And this is where Bernard Madoff had his offices, the Ponzi schemer. Then right behind will be City Group with a slant to top. Here it comes. Wait for the green traffic sign. Keep the door down the uh, street. What kind of it We call this the Lipstick Building because, of course, it looks like a lipstick dispenser. There it is. And there's City Group. Now, City Group is slanted on top because they had thoughts of putting solar paneling there. They never did. Eventually, solar technology wasn't very well developed. 1960s when that building was completed. So now we have Sutton Play, which you know, Carrie married into another one of these townhouses. It does belong to the United Nations, and she was by the Secretary General. Whoever he or she would be, of course, at this time, is a black king. We're going home to Manhattan with a long man over garden across this extremely rare on Manhattan Island. There's one of the active hospitals on this island on your right. It's called the Kohler Goldwater Hospital. Look up. 
up the street we're approaching are wider crosstown streets. And you'll actually see, especially if you're on the upper deck with me, you'll see the tops of some trees. And these, of course, will be at Central Park, at 79th Street and 5th Avenue. And just north of these trees is the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's a for something to do in the movie days. 300,000 pieces of water on display at the museum at any one time. A very popular Alexander McQueen show going on for some. I started that museum, Metropolitan Museum of Water, walk up Fifth Avenue for about a mile. You can buy 11 museums, including the Guggenheim Museums. You can go out for a tour. Coming days, fly around. I don't think you have any rain, but you like art. Walk right up Fifth Avenue, and you're going to have plenty of art there as well as in the Chelsea district of Manhattan. Now, this is called Yorkville. It's a poor immigrant. Our train's going to sell my little bit of but here on your left is Gracie Mansion. We don't see much of it on all this uh, flying pool. That yellow home is there dating from 1799. And by Archibald Gracie, a Scotsman, he made a fortune as a ship's jailer. Got this lovely home up here. What a lovely setting for all. Now, unfortunately, our mayor, Mayor Bloomberg, three term mayor, three. Mayor Bloomberg, he's a three term mayor. He doesn't live there. He's a very wealthy man worth around $20 dollars. He has a townhouse nearby. Rudy Giuliani did live there the last two years of his mayoralty. But now on Wednesdays, if you're around, on Wednesdays you can tour the Grace Mansion. So you can want to take advantage of it. It's very, very interesting. You have to make reservations for the tours. Then on your left is an onion. There are probably two ways. We spell it with one. Ward's Island is on your right, and here comes the Ward's Island pedestrian bridge. Now if you're counting bridges, I suggest that at the very beginning of this trip, I doubt it, but if you are counting bridges, you're going to be challenged in the next 35 or 30 minutes, 30 or 35, because you're going to start seeing a lot of bridges. This is a vertical lift bridge. And maybe you can see the sign, each 55 feet above all the arches, arches, trains, and boats. And all the bridges you're about to see use to have bridge tenders. This is water where it's much more active with commercial traffic. See these little cabs?
dollars. We New York City residents put up about 40% of the cost of the state through tax breaks. Has uh, more luxury boxes. That's where sports are going these days. About 80 luxury boxes. Some of those luxury boxes, they go for a third of a million dollars.
suburban train line. This goes up to uh, some wonderful places. We have time, track cold screen. Good little Hudson River Valley. Lovely community right at the water's edge. It's about to take it out there. Antiquing, little inns, history. We'll get just a little taste of the Hudson River Valley once we throw a basketball. There's baseball diamonds over these trees. And very hard to see, but right through the trees is a
Vegas Marina on Manhattan Island. It's called the 79th Street Boat Basin. Notice those green umbrellas over there. That's actually a cafe. You want to come down here anytime, take the number one train play. Steve Martin, Denzel Washington, Sting. Come down. Dakota's where Rosemary's Baby was filmed. Lancey's Scout hit from the uh, late 60s starring Mia Farrow. Uh, Leonard Bernstein lived in the building, composer and conductor. But I think a lot of you on board know that building, of course, is the one where John Lennon uh, now he lived is where he was shot to death. Strawberry Fields is right across Central Park West from the Dakota. Now if you want, we can try and see a very small part of Dakota. See that flagpole? This is 76th Street. Look at the flagpole. Be a light pole in the middle of the street. Look on the tree side of the street. A very small black turret. No offer this time of year. We do have ballet for the rest of the week. The Cleveland Orchestra is also performed there. And this time of year is when we have a lot of events outside. In New York City, I live here, will agree, this is one great place for people watching. The Lincoln Center, the fountain here, is one of the great places for it. That's where they shot some of the scenes for the Black Swan. I did that. The 50 bus will also take you fairly close to Big H&M store, St. Patrick's Cathedral, and also goes by Rockefeller Center where they have the observation deck, which is over until 11 p.m. That's one bus. The other bus is the 42 bus, which goes right across the aisle and drops you off, if you want, at the Port Authority bus, you want 8th Avenue. That's where you can People hanging from it, cord hanging from it. That is a security camera that caught 1549 hitting the water with that very primitive footage. It was just black and white. So basically off the right side, I'm guessing now, maybe 200 or 250 yards is where Sully brought the plane down in the Merrill on the Hudson. That's where you saw it on that cold, cold Thursday, two and a half years, excuse me, out day, two days ago. So pick up all your belongings, watch your step when you come out to the bow, use the handrails and the crossbars on the gangway so you don't topple over. Enjoy this spectacular day.